Welcome to the Fit Channel. Today is our sixth pain Sunday. I will explain you the most important tips to master the bent hole grip, Japanese bent hole grip, Chinese bent hole grip, and reverse bent hole grip based on Chinese coaching. Europeans use a knife and fork to eat. That's why the shake hand grip in table tennis comes from Western countries. Shake hand grip is called grabbing knife grip. I have covered the topic how to hold the racket shake hand grip in the previous video. Asian use chopstick to eat. That's why pen hole grip is popular in China, Korea, Japan, Vietnam. I will cover three types of pen hole grip today. Chinese pen hole grip, Japanese pen hole grip, and the modern reverse pen hole grip. First, Japanese pen hole grip. The Japanese pen hole grip is common not only in Japan, but also in Korea, Taiwan, and many other Asian countries. The Japanese pen hole grip has an advantage in power in both forehand and backhand side. This grip can produce the biggest shot in table tennis. Players using Japanese pen hole grip have a specific weapon, backhand fast block and backhand smash. The disadvantage is restricted flexibility in the backhand. You can't completely close your racket on the backhand side. To play this grip, you must have a very good footwork to attack every ball using your forehand. If the opponent attacks on your backhand side, you must counter by the aggressive backhand block and backhand smash. Holding a Japanese pen hole grip is not as difficult as holding the Chinese pen hole grip. The index finger always press on the handle edge. That's why this handle edge is large and square. Always put your index finger on the edge. The thumb and the index come together more closely than the Chinese pen hole grip. That means the index and the thumb finger always touch each other. To use this grip on the backhand side, you must change the grip. Open your palm, turn your thumb on the handle side. The thumb will push on the handle and turn your blade from the vertical position to the horizontal position. To block the top spin ball, you must close your racket. To do that, remember to open your palm maximum. You should also press your racket downward to absorb the top spin. To block the ball on your backhand side, you should rotate the racket to the horizontal position and a little upward. Use the movement of the whole body to drive the ball. This will add power and the consistency. Remember to put the middle ring and little fingers together against the back of the blade. This provides an advantage in power since those fingers are behind the contact point on the blade and add to the force of the stroke. 2. Traditional Chinese Pen Hole Grip The traditional Chinese Pen Hole Grip is used in East Asian countries Japan, China, Hong Kong, Chinese Taipei, and North Korea. The players use mostly only one side of the racket very strong forehand attack and very strong serve due to the flexibility of the wrist. Some players combine the traditional pen hook grip with a short pimple on the forehand to make a unique table tennis style.
traditional Chinese pencil grip also use the forehand rubber to block on the backhand side. However, this grip is, has greater flexibility of width than the Japanese pencil grip due to the use of short and round handle. Holding the pencil grip is different than the shake hand grip, but as for shake hand grip, you should know where to apply the pressure. Shake hand grip has three contact points. The thumb and the index are the two main contact points where you apply most of the pressure. The middle, the ring and the little fingers are used only to complete the grip where you can apply only small forks. Pen hole grip also has three contact points. The thumb and the index are the two main contact points where you should apply the fox. The middle ring and little fingers are the less important contact points. You can't apply the pressure on these three fingers, middle ring little. They are only used as a support point for your thumb and index. They are called dead contact points. However, pen hole grip is different than the shake hand grip. Shake hand grip has a two main contact point at the two sides of the blade. Pen hole grip has a two main contact point at the same side, so the technique is a little different. Unlike the shake hand grip, where your thumb must be put on the edge of the handle, in the pen hole grip, you put your thumb directly on the blade. You pinch your blade mainly by the pressure from the thumb and the middle finger. Therefore, the pen hole handle is rather small and flat. The index finger is used to hook to attach the blade. This is the advantage of the pen hole grip because you can freely use your wrist. The index finger gives the additional force to keep your racket won't fly away. The little and the ring finger are put close together with the middle finger to support the middle finger. The traditional pen hole grip has these three fingers rather straight. This type of grip will favor your forehand stroke but limit your backhand. You can't do a reverse pen hole backhand with this grip. You should apply the pressure mainly on the index finger for your serve and your forehand stroke. You can see that Marlin applied the pressure on his index finger. His thumb finger is almost free. Remember, press the index finger for the forehand stroke. Three, reverse pen hole grip. The reverse pen hole grip is the modern pen hole grip, which allows player to attack on the backhand side, as the shake hand grip. Wang Hao is the best reverse pen hole grip player. I will explain the most important tips for this grip. Wang Hao explained the index finger wrapped around tighter. On the reverse side, the middle and the ring finger press against the racket. The thumb controls the angle of the blade. The index finger provides driving force for the backhand. Look at the pen hole grip of Su Xin. Compared to the grip of Guang Hao, the thumb and the index are put close together. This grip requires you to put pressure from your thumb to curve your middle finger, making a greater support point to do the reverse pen hole backhand without locking up the wrist. You can clearly see that Wang Hao pressed his thumb finger before doing his reverse pen hole backhand. His support finger, middle ring and little finger are not straight but curvy. These curvy fingers will help him to close the racket more and hence easier to do a backhand topspin.
Huang Zheng Yi also explained these tips. Put your thumb closer to the middle of the bed. This will help you make a curvy support fingers. Put the pressure on both index and thumb finger. The pressure also locks the blade in place, this allowing traditional backhand block. And you can do the reverse panel backhand flip and top spin. You can clearly see that Su Xin put the pressure on the thumb finger before doing a reverse pen her backhand. Very important. So please remember for the Chinese pen her grip. Put the pressure on the index finger for the serve and forehand stroke. To have a good reverse pen hook grip, put the pressure on both the index and the thumb finger. This will make the support fingers, middle finger and ring finger curvy. This favor the backhand stroke as you can close the racket more to top spin and flip the ball. For your backhand stroke, put the thumb finger close to the index finger to lock the blade. This also increases the flexibility of the wrist. Therefore, increase the quality of your point of your backhand stroke. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now, enjoy the beautiful rally of the penhole grip player. See you, Coach Emrethik.